Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, we finished talking to Elminster, who told us that... Sorry, I'm just trying to switch out party members for a second. Uh, who told us that Gale had a big bomb inside of him. And now he's been cast. Uh, he's been tasked with blowing up the Absolute with that bomb. It is. <sighs> but right now, I am just trying to... Uh, Right now, I am just trying to get it to where I can update some equipment. So she has a Githyanki Greatsword. I wanted to bring this over here so I could compare her weapon with what she has now. So, yeah, his this one does less damage. So we'll get rid of that. And I don't think I have any armor for her. Right? There's no armor... And any armor I had will have... All right, that's fine. Uh, switch back to him. So now we're ready to move on to the Shadowlands. Shook. As you say. Now we're ready to move on to the Shadowlands. So let's pick... Uh, let's get Asterion back in our group. Yes. Lead. Okay. Let's get him back in our group. And we will move on to the next thing. What a day. Okay. So I believe that this is going to be the way out. Broken Moon Lantern. There's another and Broken Moon Lantern. There's another one. Adept of the Absolute. Take all of his stuff. And here we go to the Shadow Cursed Lands. An entire domain ensconced in shadow curse. That's quite the enchantment. Those shadows. There's power coursing through them. Oddly familiar. Better stay on alert. I've never okay. seen darkness like this before. It's unsettling. And then this is why we needed torches. Pretty sure I actually have to light them to not get messed up by the. S I have to have them like in my hand. Oh, this darkness is gnawing at me. Yep. Equip. Uh, what? There we go. Quit. Can you please? I want to put it in my hand. Thank you. Okay, everybody's carrying a torch now. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Got to have the light around us because the darkness can hurt you. I can feel the they don't seem to... The Shadow Curse... Doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Mm, so what does all this mean? Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Okay. So let's check our map really quick. Are there any... Discover the artifact's secrets. Wreath... Hmm, okay. I don't think we can go back that way, though. They should really clear out quests that you can't complete. Because once you pass once you pass this way, you can't really do anything else after that. 
Okay. So... Let's head off in this direction. I'm not really interested in crafting materials. Don't waste a step. Stay together. Keep to the light. Mandred Skybane, man at arms. I mean you no harm. I'll be the judge of that. Store your weapons, put your hands up, and walk into the light slowly. Jonas, move in! Oh, they got him. Jonas! Jonas! I'm here! Where are you? Jonas? Can you see our torches? I can't see anything! Something's wrong. Follow my voice. Come back to the light. Uh, uh, who's there? Meg? Is that... You didn't make it. Guards up, everybody. I'm not letting the shadows take anyone else today. Harpers, you heard the man. Two arms. Make every strike count. Okay, what are we doing here? Um, Asterion has one dagger available. Unfortunately, we had to have torches in our hand, so... Okay, I need my spear back. You mean not enough resources? Whatever. Stupid. Okay, that's one of them. What fools these mortals be. Alright, I need him to move. Ow. Do I have any other... One on him. Uh, another two on that one. Are you... That was a complete... I'm really tired of wasting spells. Ah. 
Are they like re um, like re resistant to fire uh, to fire damage or something? Yeah, well, we're in this direction. Can he move? Nice. That's what I need. I need more stuff like that. Can I reach this one? Yes. We have left over here. Let's get him up in this direction then. Let's end this. Oh, hold on, we're gonna radiant damage this one. There's nothing we can do while this one's invisible over here. Of course it missed. Too much freaking missing. Uh, switch to a ranged weapon. Well done. Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. I'll follow in a moment. Remember, stay in the light or you're done for. Harpers, move out. Okay. There won't be anything in the shadow thingy, so we'll just... Yeah. We'll grab the potion of healing here. Have Asteria and unlock the chest. Symbol. Step lightly. Okay. Moving right along. Off. All right, we need to fix our situation here. Um, okay. Gale's quarter staff gives him fireball, which he already has as a wizard. So I'm gonna actually gonna have him hold that. She's gonna put her weapon back on. He's gonna put his weapon back on. Ideally, this will be enough. Come on, stay with me. That dead bird's been corrupted by the shadows. Would be wise to leave it alone. Well, yeah, but I can't. They're all attacking Asterian, really?
Hmm. Can I have her go right now? All right, yeah, because we're going to do Spirit Guardians. Because now I can just move her like this. Nice. And we leveled up. Which is what I was hoping would happen. Level six, we get another feat. So we have Polar Master. Shield Master gives us a plus two bonus to dexterity saving throws. Um, versus an ability improvement. Strength and dexterity. Yeah, we're doing strength and dexterity. Sorry. I need... Gives me another armor class. I need it. He just gets to change his skills. Uh, I'm going to take off Deception and give him Acrobatics. I don't really know. Okay. We'll do that for him. Why not? And Gale's going to level up. And we are going to learn Lightning Bolt. And... Probably Stinking Cloud. Yeah, let's do Stinking Cloud. Repair spells. But for now, I'm actually just going to hold on... Oh, wait. No, we'll take the Flaming Sphere off, and that will give us Lightning Bolt. Bring up Stinking Cloud. Okay. That'll work. We'll take another short rest because Gale or uh, Asterion got got hit pretty hard. Okay, and then we should be pretty close to the village over here, so let's go over here. This place is protected. Must be the refuge the Harpers spoke of. Should be your... You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. He's with me. <clears throat> Come. Jahira. Just this once, I wish people would simply say hello. Hello. I saved your soldiers, and this is the thanks I get. Kindness is too often a decoy. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Look to the Harpers you saved. Stop! What's you doing? He's the one who saved us! He's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved one of my friends from a druid with a snake. Knows when to be discreet too. I pretty much trust him with my life. A true soul with a mind of his own? How is that possible? Because of this artifact. What 
in the house is that thing? I will tell him everything we know. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? To destroy the Absolute in its lair. Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Okay. I expected a find lurking in this cursed gloom. And as always, my favorite part is the shopping. I, mean, I don't really care for shopping. I just I want to offload my stuff. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Okay. Take care now. Dude. It does that way too often. Okay. Uh, ooh, cool shield. And a cool staff. Okay, I think we're going to be buying a fair amount of stuff here. So, first and foremost, let's... Let's uh, sell off things that we don't need anymore. Oh, you know what? I wanted to see if uh, Karlak could use that. Char and crossbow. Not really worried about that. Not really worried about that. We don't need any of that. Hold on to that, because you never know when you might need to talk to somebody who's dead. Bye. Goodbye, mask. Uh, he does Oh, insufficient gold. So, uh, okay, that's fine. So, shield of devotion. It gives me a plus two armor class. Oh, here we go. Plus two armor class. I can shield bash with it. And it gives me the ability to do aid. Versus her shield. Okay. That gives her saving throw bonuses. Um, so for now, I'm going to put this on my best guy. Because I want to. And then we're going to go ahead and get this for Gale. Because all that gives him is Firebolt. Get rid of the poisoner's robe and all this extra randomness. Envoy's amulet. We'll hold on to that for now. I'm not particularly interested in that or that. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, what else do we got here? Cinder Snap Gloves. Protection from missiles. It's a spell. Two weapon fighting. When you make an attack with your offhand ability, you can add your ability modifier. I don't think I need that. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know if I don't know if he needs that. He's already fighting two-handed. Obsidian laced robe. Uh, on a successful saving throw against a foe's spell, dear... Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. All this does is give him... Hold on. Uh, where was that? I'm actually going to take this. We'll sell that. Okay, what do we got here? The Mighty Cloth. Bull Strength. Mm. Yonti Scale Mail. Okay, that's not really going to do much for me. Shade Clinger Armor. So, it's 12 versus 13. That's going to be worse. Not interested in the Cap of Wrath. Um, Shrouded in Shadow. After dealing damage with an unarmed attack, the wearer gains a bonus. Nah, that's not going to be good for me. 
I'm not really going to spend any money on weapons for people that I'm not really doing anything with. The rapier plus two. Oh, hold on. When the, the, the sword I have now is better. And then it's all weapons and stuff after that. Cloak of protection. I'm going to grab that and put it on my fighter because he's my frontline guy. Uh, we sold that. Sold all that. Okay, I think that's it for this one. But I do know that there is another vendor up here. We'll finish up our shopping and then end the episode. So if you want to take off, you can go ahead and take off. I'm going to end the episode after we uh, finish shopping up here. It's you. A makeshift Harper's fire might not be where I hope. And if you find any interesting materials... Interesting in work, materials? What do you I mean? Hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons, but no one has earned my trust, if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a Devil's Smithy. It should have been awful, but infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some, smell it almost. If you find it, bring it to well, me. Well, I think I found a material that you can work incredible. with. What can you make out of it? Absolutely. Lod Helldusk armor. Okay. Well, that'll de that will definitely... Oh, when you're hit by a foe within seven feet, it might take one to four fire damage. Definitely putting that on. Nice. Okay, let's talk to him. Where'd he go? Need anything? Let's see what you have. Okay, so he has a sword of life stealing, um, Asterian. Uh, hold on, let's go to trade. So six to eleven damage, but on a critical hit, it takes an extra ten, and I gain ten temporary hit points. Versus this baneful short sword. Well, I'm going to buy this. And we'll play around with the stats. Okay, what else do we have here? Ringmail armor is not going to be anywhere close to better than what I have. Nope. Chain shirt. She already has scale mail plus one. So there's no point in swapping that out. Asterion already has padded armor plus two on. Don't really need any ranged weapons. I don't think anybody needs a hammer. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking that we've done... So, scale mail 15. She can't wear heavy armor. The breastplate plus one... is the same as what she has on now. But, I could... I could put this on and it removes her disadvantage on stealth checks. So, let's go ahead and do that then. Just because, why not? Okay, and then I don't, the spear plus one, I already have that, right? Oh, the watcher's guide. Okay, I don't think we really have anything else that we can do here. So, all right, I'll be here if you need any. that will be the end of the episode. Hopefully you guys are having lots of fun. Uh, be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you are. Subscribe to the channel so you know when the next episode comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description if you'd like to help me turn this channel into a thriving online business. Again, thank you very much for your time, and I will see you for the next one.